ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وبريوم الآخر. What's interesting about this is amongst humanity are those who say we believe in Allah in the last day. What's really fascinating is if you look at the verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took four verses to describe the believers, two verses to describe the disbelievers, and 13 verses to describe the hypocrites. So it's, it's very interesting, the hypocrites are a very complicated um, uh, creature because the inward and the outward are um, disparate. They're not, they're not, they're not the same. And everybody has some degrees, with the exception of the purified, uh, the Anbiya and the Siddiqun, and everybody has a, a degree of hypocrisy. If you think you're free of hypocrisy, you're definitely a hypocrite. And, and I didn't say that, that was Hassan al-Basri. He said, whoever feels free of hypocrisy, it's a sign he's a hypocrite. So if Sayyidina Omar could go to Hudayfa ibn Yaman and say, I swear to God, you have to tell me, am I one of the hypocrites that the Prophet ﷺ told you about? That's Omar ibn al-Khattab. He was worried about being considered a hypocrite. And that's partly because invariably, we, have, we play different roles and we, ha we have inner lives and outer lives. And sometimes they're not always congruous. So people, but if it's kabair, if it's, then you're dealing with hip, real hypocrites. And so there's, there's a, complete hypocrites, and then there's a, a whole spectrum of hypocrisy. So the, the munafiq khalis, a complete hypocrite, when he speaks, he lies. When he makes promises, he breaks them. Either haddatha kadha bida tumina khan. Uh, uh, when, when he gets in a fight, when he gets in a uh, if he makes a promise, he breaks it. If he, if he gets in an argument, he starts using foul language. So these are all signs. If they're all four are in a person, they're just complete hypocrites. So, so we have to work on that, all of us, in our own uh, selves and do that. So what, what they do, yukhadi'un allaha. Now, muhada'a, mufa'ala in the Arabic language is to attempt something. Yukhadi'un allaha. Walladhina amru. They attempt to fool God. So they try to fool God. Walladhina amru. Wa ma yakhda'una illa anfusahum. Wa ma yashu'roon. But they do not succeed in deceiving anybody but themselves. Now what's interesting, there's uh, Imam Warsh in his Qira'ah, it's وَمَا يُخَادِعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسُمْ So they only are really attempting to deceive themselves. So it's, it's, it's that thing of cognitive dissonance that people, they, they have to believe. So they're going to try to convince themselves that, that they're actually doing this for uh, good reasons and, and things like that. So there's a real self-deception here. And in the end, Self-deception is exactly that. You're only deceiving yourself. In other words, if you really, really were honest with yourself, you would see the self-deception. Yeah. So there's this kind of schizophrenic um, attitude. Wa ma yashurun. Ma is really a beautiful word. Uh, the the Arabs in modern Arabic use for the subconscious when they translate Freudian psychology, they'll call it the la shu'ur. You know, it's under the shu'ur. It's what you're not sensing. Sha'ara means to feel. And sha'r is poetry because the poet is somebody who feels more than other people. He has higher sensibilities. His sensibilities are heightened. Sha'ar is hair because um, it's a very subtle thing to touch uh, when you touch the hair. Um, and also because it spreads out. So sheen has, is harf to fashi. So anything with sheen in it tends to spread out. Shajara, shijar, like mushajara. Um, shems radiates. Ashia, like uh, rays. Um, there's a whole bunch of words that have that letter in it. The ilm al So they, 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 they only succeed in fooling themselves. Fi qurubihim marad. In their hearts is disease, marad. Fi qurubihim marad. Marad here is shubuhat and shahawat. 
They have the marad of shubuhat, which is doubts in their understanding. They, they don't have any certainty about anything. They're mudabdibun. You know, they, they oscillate. Uh, some, they're, when they're with the believers, they're with the believers. When they go back to their shayateen, they're with their shayateen. So they, they're, they're sick people. Fazaduhum Allahu marada. This is Allah allows them to get sicker. And they have a painful uh, torment. They're tormented in their own beings. Because of what they were, because of, of the lies that they tell to themselves and to others. So they're lying to themselves and they're lying to others. This is really, I think, one of the most amazing um, qualities that you see in these people. If you say to them, don't make trouble, he uses make trouble, sow corruption, I mean there's a lot of different ways, I don't know how he does it in the, um, in his final translation, but here he says make trouble in the earth. If, if, it's, if they're told don't make trouble in the earth, they say they're only doing good. They say we, that we are only, they say we are only doing good. So, islah. One of the uh, commentators of the Quran said, the first proof that they're mufsidun is they claim to be muslihun. Because a true uh, person who's doing good, they never claim they're doing good. They just do it. So the fact that they're saying, oh, we're, we're muslihun, that's a proof that they're mufsidun. What does the Prophet say? Ma uridu illa al-islah. I only want islah. He doesn't say, I'm muslih. He says, I want islah. Which is very different from saying you're a muslih, because it's not a claim. Qalu inna ma nahnu muslihun. Because in, in the end, Allah is the one who decides. Either I or you are on guidance or astray. The Prophet was told to say that to the disbelievers, even, in, even though we're certain that he was on guidance. He was told to say to them, Allah knows who's guided. One of us is guided. It's, it's uh, right, making opposite claims. One of the claims has to be true. It's either raining or it's not raining. God exists or he doesn't exist. The Prophet ﷺ is a prophet or he's not a prophet. One has to be true, because that's the law of the excluded middle. Right? They can't both be true. So, for those who accept, they have aman. That's why it's called iman, because they've entered into this state of security. For those who reject, we have to wait. Let's all wait. We'll see in tadiru. Let's just wait. Allah says, wait, we'll see, we're going to see. So nobody should just hurry, hurry this thing up. We don't want to hasten, the, just let it take its course. We'll see who's, who's true and who's not true. We're going to, Yom Qiyamah, we believe it's real. If somebody doesn't believe it's real, that's their prerogative. Allah has given them that prerogative. Allah, out of His generosity to His creation, has given them free will. They can either accept His gifts with gratitude or accept His gifts with ingratitude. It's one or the other, but they're all getting the gifts of Allah. And the greatest gift is participation in being. The fact that we exist, that Allah has enabled us to come into the world and participate in this extraordinary epiphany uh, this extraordinary theophany of divine attributes. I mean, it's just incredible.